Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where today we are going to kill two birds with one stone, as the uh, famous saying uh, states. <laughs> we're going to drop off these metal beams, and we're going to pick up, I believe it's the TUZ. There is a abandoned car here that uh, conveniently, I believe, goes all the way back to the warehouse. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, like I said, to kill two birds with one stone and uh, an engine, a suspension, and a tire with that same stone. So, uh, but let's let's actually think about this for a second. Yeah, you know what? We can go this way. That might uh, that might be a little quicker. But just barely. Just barely quicker. <laughs> Alright, so... In the last episode, we actually built this bridge up ahead. And so, that should help make getting around this map just a little bit. And I do mean a little bit easier. Uh, we at least don't have to worry about trying to cross the river. Uh, we can always come down to this point and cross here. Uh, because there was there there were no bridges that uh, that went across this river. Uh, there was there was one here, but that's obviously fallen and you can't be fixed. And then there's no other river or uh, river crossing. So uh, yeah, it kind of helps bring uh, the map together. And it was uh, it was a pretty simple task. It was a long task because we had to drive across three maps, uh, but it was technically. A simple task so uh, we gotta go straight and then we gotta go south and then start turning I think it's east yeah it's east but yeah so I am getting uh, extremely close to bringing out my first and I don't know what to call it it's gonna be a test uh, it's going to be a comparison uh, using the TUZ420. Uh, and we're just going to compare how it does with different uh, tires. There's the Jack of All Trades tires, and then there's the stock tires. And uh, yeah, so with a little bit of help and with a little bit of uh, timing and, and all that fun stuff. I should be able to get that out relatively soon. I'm hoping this week. Uh, it is going to be a shorter video as it's just a demonstration of what basically uh, in this case what tires are going to be better. Uh, so yeah I'm trying to figure out a name to name the series. Um, I had one in my head and it was it was like four S's. It was Snow Runner. I don't even remember what it was, but I cannot from the life of me think about it. Because I, I want to do a stomping ground, maybe. I think maybe that's what it was. Snow, snow runner stomping ground or something like that where it has something to do with a test. Um, almost like a test track, but it's just kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison. So um, if you guys can think of any good names for it, please let me know because I am kind of drawing a blank with it. But yeah, I just want to actually start doing... Uh, a little bit of uh, comparison between the trucks or between tires and engine types maybe you know whatever floats our boat and and I'll take a lot of, uh, of uh, requests from you guys of, of what to test and how to test it it's not gonna be very scientific um, I don't think I can do with my editing software I'm not sure if I can do a side-by-side -side, uh, where you have like say two trucks going at it and the the other thing that I want to do with it the major thing I want to do with it is just use the Michigan map the uh, the Black River the basic map uh, there's there's enough issues and and mud puddles and hills and things like that in that map that we can um, that we can use to kind of get a real world comparison because I know a lot of people when they do these tests they um they actually use a modded map that has like perfect hills and and, and 
I guess moguls, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, or the swamps perfectly even. You know, and I kind of want to bring it more into the real world. Uh, like you would come across in, obviously, Michigan. Uh, and I want to use the Michigan map because it's the beginner map. So that if somebody is playing for the first time, they can kind of relate to what they see and what I'm doing. So, uh, but yeah, I was I'm thinking along the lines of, of trying to get that done relatively soon, but um, we'll see. It's They're going to be like maybe less than 10 minute videos, so, uh, and really they're informative, right? Like if, if I, you know, think that uh, one tire is better than the other one, or let's actually haul materials across the map uh, fully loaded down with the trailer instead of just being the truck itself. Uh, what is this? We I've I put a marker right, right where I need to to do it. I believe this is the uh, the vehicle that needs to get towed. So we're just gonna go ahead and tow it. Uh, let's let's on, let's double check and make sure that we've activated this before. Uh, yes, we have. So we can actually start tracking this to yes, said warehouse. So. We can go ahead and winch onto this uh, TUZ-166 <clears throat> and get that uh, hauled over. Uh, let's see here. Just attach it right there. Let's get it around that stump before we damage it. Good thing we don't have to worry about any damages. We're not liable for that. And uh, yeah, this 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 vehicle is so small. I don't even think I'm gonna bother to turn on the engine. I don't think it's really gonna help us that much. So, but yeah. So, anyways, I'm, I I need to come up with different ideas for testing, um, whether it's a comparison between trucks or just different uh, mods on the truck. And that's probably going to be the major thing is kind of what's the best setup. Uh, for certain conditions, so... Uh, like this condition here. This is pretty muddy through here. In fact, I think we're sinking. We're gonna have to... tie off to a tree. And then reattach back to the, uh... the truck there. I almost could call that a car. It's, it's kind of a, a crossover. Actually, what is it? I haven't even really looked at it. Um, I can't get a good view from it. I know what I can do. No, I can't even do that because I don't own this vehicle. Uh, what we need to do right now is pay attention because I'm going to roll over in a second. Oh, look at this mud. So pretty. <laughs> So gross and nasty. Uh, yeah, the butts is taking a little bit of a beating back there. Just, just a little bit. Um, okay, there we go. I'm, I'm tempted to go through the water instead of going for the mud. But there's no trees whatsoever, so let's, let's stick to the mud. We're going to be using the, the winch quite a bit through here. That's a that's a weird pattern going on in the water there. I thought maybe for some reason it was starting to rain, but... Oh, we almost outdrove that. There we go. See, that was that was easy. Ah, uh, don't you tip. There you go. Oh, that was that was a little, little close there. All right, let's make sure we make this turn. No, get over more, get over. Okay. 
Really gotta make sure you don't uh, start your turn too early. Because if you did, you'd probably roll over there, so... Very important to, to not start your turn too early. Alright, so we're really close to uh, where we first came in to this map the, well, the first time. <laughs> and I think we can just sneak right through here. Shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too difficult to get through here. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 wow. I think I just saved that from falling. All, all by steering, too. Oh, great. Now we're stuck on a tree. There we go. Some of those trees that stick out are just plain annoying. Ah, they're so bad. Uh, the worst, though, are the, the pine tree branches that I'm like, it, they would just snap. Trust me, it would just snap. Anyways. Alright, so. Where are we here? This isn't taking, uh... Wow, I just looked at the time. I'm only about 12 minutes into this episode, so... We, uh... We should be able to easily get another task done. And yes, I was... Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Whoops. Just beat the crap out of the, uh... The car behind us. No worries. We'll just shove that out of the way. I doubt the I doubt the owner's gonna want that uh, 166 back. <laughs> uh, yes, I was supposed to try. I do remember this now, uh, so we might go and do that. But uh, I was told through the comments, and I do apologize. I forgot who told me um, that if I go back and do, I believe it was a radioactive mission, that that would unlock the uh, the mission with the Dan. And that would make it possible. So I think I'm going to actually go do that after we, uh, let's see, we got to drop off the metal delivery. We got to start tracking that one. Uh, oh, and it's in the same spot. So let's just back up. Boom. Just like that. We got two missions done. And, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll leave the as off here, I think. Um, let me, give me a second. I want to look up what mission they said it was, and then I can also, uh, find out their name. And, uh, give them credit for, uh, hopefully fixing the quote-unquote glitch slash, oh, I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> issue. So hold on one second. Alright, so... I figured out what missions I need to run, and I will explain those in a second, but the uh, hint was brought to you by, uh, I think his name is Tomek, uh, T-O-M-E-K, I am horrible, I'm not even going to try his last name, uh, but it, yeah, um, anyways, we'll, we'll call him Tom, thanks, thanks for the, uh, comment and the, uh, Heads up, hopefully you're correct. We will find out shortly. But I am uh, I am busting out a truck I don't think I've used yet, which is the uh, Tegra. Uh, unfortunately, I was going to do the Dairy, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't have the Seismic Vibrator, which is what you need for this mission. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go through the customization of it. Uh, I think, yeah. It's got 88 fuel. I think we can go with the biggest engine. We should. I mean, we we may not need the biggest engine. Uh, we could save some fuel, and this is this is something I really want to test. Is is it necessary to have the biggest engine for say modules like this where you're not really taking a load like it's not like we're gonna have a five slot trailer behind us full of steel and bricks right uh do we need that big engine or is it better to have a smaller engine that has a better fuel uh fuel economy i, I was gonna say fuel consumption but that for some reason didn't want to roll off the tongue uh 
so yeah anyways that will be a, another great thing that we can um we can actually test we'll throw in the off-road gearbox we already have the race suspension on it tires 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 uh i think we go mud i i feel like that's probably uh the best Ooh, we got some big semi flotation tires i don't want to call them completely flotation tires but they are pretty decent um I would love, yeah, there's some mud tires. Ooh, oh, we do have these tires. Oh, that's, that's, that's tempting. Do we have them in a 51? We have them in a 51. I, th I think we have to go with these. These are probably my favorite tires. And I don't even know if they're the best tires. This is another thing I get to test. Like, there's so much stuff I want to test. Um... So this might be a good, this might be a good test to see if are these tires better or are those tires better? You know, these say they're poor on the road, they're excellent off-road and excellent mudding. But what about these ones that say the exact same thing? Now, I know there's a chart circulating on the internet that uh, will actually tell you the, I think it's the friction coefficient or something along those lines, basically tells you uh, the larger the number, the better the tire is in those conditions. So, uh, but we're, we're going to, we're going to rock with these guys. Uh, we've got the, uh, high powered advanced medium wench, uh, spare wheel. No, we can't do that. Snorkel. Yes, please. We're going to go with the front facing and obviously the seismic vibrator. So, um, we probably could. Bring fuel with us, but I don't know if we're necessarily going to need it. So, uh, but let's go under here. We've got to go. I think it's under Verano 12. Nope. Sorry. It's a Taiga oil or Taiga. I guess it's Taiga. Uh, and we have to do the geo research. So it looks like we're going to have to do this one and then possibly this one and then this one, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the one that is going to be the, hopefully the one that gets us to unlock the, uh, missions that we're missing. So, or the, the tasks that we're missing. I always get those confused. I, I, I don't know why, but I do. All right. So where do we have to go? Oh, we got to get all the way to the quarry. All right. So let's take a look at the quarry. Uh, nope. The uh, Corey, so it's so weird being backwards for some reason. Uh, I know if we go the fastest route here. Oh, we actually have to get to. What? Where's the starting point? Well, you know what? Did I read something wrong here? No, it's telling me I gotta get to the quarry. Let's go to the... Let's go to the rift and see. It's saying quarry. You go back to the quarry. Remember, that says the same thing. Oh, that's the drowned lands. Whoops. I'm getting confused here. We go to the quarry, and I don't see a starting point. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to read all those. I don't see them there. Alright, let's 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 get to the, the quarry and see, uh... See what's going on. So let's get this fired up. We've got all-wheel drive and diff lock constantly engaged. So well, that's uh, pleasantly uh, quaint. <laughs> it's always nice when you don't have to mess around with those things, but uh, it's also not, you know, makes for a little bit boring of a drive. It doesn't make it very, doesn't make it very complicated or technical. I don't know what I'm saying right now. You guys know what I'm saying. Uh, oh, I can't put a tractor. Okay, so we can't pull anything with this. 
So yeah, we better get going because we're going to need all the fuel we can get. And do I want to... Uh, do I want to go through here? This wasn't that bad of a road. I think I might go for this one. I like the point where you come out better for the other map because the other map's very tall and skinny, right? So it uh, it definitely takes a while if you start out at the very bottom. So let's just head over there. We also haven't... Um, I don't know if we've actually gone over there. Uh, from the uh, the garage, like a straight shot. So we're going to do it. And we're going to see where we need to go. Uh, that's the question I was wondering. <laughs> um, no, let's go into here. Confirm that use seismic vibrators add-on not far from the quarry. Okay, so I think we're going to the actual quarry itself. I could be wrong. I'm hoping it will pop up once we get onto the map of the quarry. Uh, but right now it doesn't, uh, it's not really showing it. So I hope this hasn't glitched out. Man, I might be, um, I might be looking up just to make sure that we have all the vehicles from Russia and just skip to the next map, like the next region, because I don't know, this is kind of crazy. Because um, this is almost looking like it's glitching out, but I don't want to say it is, because it might not be. Chances are it's not, but... Usually, usually there's something on the map showing that there's a... Uh, the, the starting point where you have to go once you get there, so... But we'll get there, we'll find out, and uh, we'll go from there, so... Um, this truck is very susceptible to damage. <laughs> nice thing is it's not very uh it seems like it's very top heavy but it holds its own so I'm quite surprised. Uh what's the best route to take? I think we're gonna go left and then cut through here and then hit that point and then that point, and then that point, and then that point, that point. Simple, right? Uh, nope. I was supposed to go left. I'm already, I'm already screwing it up. All right, there we go. All right, not too bad so far. Like. I think this is why I love these tires so much. They just, uh, they just eat through everything. Maybe, maybe this would have been a better truck to leave the highway, highway gearbox in so we have speed. <laughs> the only downside to that is it usually causes more damage, so. This seems to be doing. Uh, this seems to be doing pretty good with the setup we have. <clears throat> you know, I don't know if off-road gearboxes are actually necessary when it comes to uh, the trucks that have the all-wheel drive and diff lock always on. Because obviously, having having your low-range access uh, usually allows you to turn on your differential. But if your differential is always on then do you really need it? Well, you know what? We can test that out too. I'm coming up with so many ideas, I'm going to forget them all. So please let me know in the comments, write them down, and that will uh, hopefully it will remind me. Ooh, that is a, that is a nasty looking ditch right there. <laughs> all right, we're just going to cut through here. So far, I am pretty impressed with this truck. I don't uh, I don't know why I haven't really used it before. 
Have I used it before? I don't even know anymore. It's I'm starting to lose my uh, my memory of what trucks I've used and haven't used. I've I've pretty much used most of the ones so far that I have. All right. Well, that's not really going to help us through. That will. I want to go straight through the water, but at the same time, there's no winch point, so we're kind of SOL if we get uh, if we get stuck. Let's actually uh, we'll cut up this side. We'll try to stay out of the actual water and stay close to the shore where there's trees. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yep, that was deep. Okay, let's pull that one out of the way. Come on. Is that tree gonna fall? Nope, it's just slowly sinking vertical. That's kind of funny. Okay, how are we not going up? There we go. Can we reach that one? I don't think we can reach it yet. There we go. Wow. We'll pull that one down out of the way. Now we can get out. Oh, there's some more damage. I got a feeling we're going to lose our suspension real quick. Hopefully we can at least make it to the quarry. Ooh, that, that suspension is starting to give out. I don't have any report, repair points on this truck, so... And we can't attach a trailer to it, so that's out of the question. We gotta get to the quarry where I think we have a repair truck, so... I think we still have one. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll just go in that direction. Pretty sure we are almost there. Oh, don't roll it. Yeah, this, this is pretty stable. I'm pretty impressed by this truck so far. Um... We are running out of daylight, so let's skip to morning. It's not really much more daylight. We're going to go around the water. And yeah, we're going to go into a radioactive zone. Look at all the eyes that are watching us that disappear. I think they put them in too much. There's too many of them. It was it was so much nicer in Michigan where you you'd see one and then you would you question whether or not you saw it. That's that makes a good game. <laughs> Let's just go right through that sign. But now they're just everywhere, right? Like, it's, it's not like they're even trying to hide it. I love the fact that it was like... You didn't know if it was there or not. You started thinking it was your, your, your imagination yourself. And then it was just like this little hidden treasure that you came across every once in a while. Alright, so, yeah. It's nice and, it's nice and smooth sailing once we get to the railroad tracks. Alright, now hopefully, hopefully it will pop up. Oh, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if this doesn't pop up. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go to every single map. Yes, it's there. Alright, um, so that's what it is. It's kind of hidden. So there's no marker whatsoever. It just says 0.7 miles search. So. 
This is one of them missions that uh, you just have to drive in a direction and see if it goes down or if it goes up. I'm going to go up the hill. It's said by the quarry, so I'm going to assume they're talking about the actual quarry. But if that goes up to 15, which it did, yeah, we got to we got to turn around. And <laughs> I'm getting brave with this thing not wanting to roll over with how stable it is. And uh, yeah, I did a pretty decent job. Let's... I literally just said to myself, let's not hit any of these stumps. What? And there's a giant stump right there. Alright, we're... Oh, we're not through yet. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh. No, nope. let's get the front. Ah, that. Oh, come on. I'm not even on the stump anymore. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's stay away from those stumps. Probably the most agonizing thing on this game is is the stumps, or are the stumps, I should say. Um, so we're getting pretty close to being able to scan. 0 0.7. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. I think we gotta go right, guys. Alright, let's head into the woods. Oh, it's worse. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. It should have been over here. Yep, that's point seven exactly. Um, so let's turn around. We'll head back the way we came. Try not to smash into anything, but mm, it's it's one of those days. One of those days. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Gotta move on. And yep, we gotta go. Oh, 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 there's a stump there. Oh, I'm just hitting everything today, guys. Like, I hope you like when uh, I suck. Because <laughs> I'm horrible right now. Yeah, I know. I said it. I suck. Alright, uh, we are, yep, we are right where we need to go. Let's, uh, boom. Shaka laka laka boom. Uh. Oh, wait, what? We rolled too far. And. What? Attach winch, stop engine. There we go. Oh my. I told. I thought it was in the context menu. Like, ugh. Alright. Success. Oh, that was it? 4600 bucks for that? You pay that well? Can I get a job? Like, can I quit YouTube and just work for you? Holy crap. That's amazing. All right, well, what's the Tega oil one? Whoops. And looks like that unlocked this one, so. Okay, so where do we need to go for you? Are we where we need to be? Maybe we are. Hey, we must be. Oh, you know what? Did I activate it? Activate. There we go. Geo search triangulation. All right. So there was something that popped up over here. How far away is that? Five point. Oh yeah. Okay. So then, where's the other one? Let's let's look at the rift map. I have a feeling we gotta go into the rift for this one. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Where do I have a trailer? I have a fuel stop here. We could definitely do that. And I think we have... Does it tell us? This is where I get bad because I don't, uh, I don't read anything. Uh, if I go into here... Oh, it doesn't tell me. As expected, the first scan around the quarry confirms that... Confirms the search is moving in the right direction. The next step would be to perform another full triangulation. And by finding and scanning two more suitable locations. They don't say where the said locations are. But I saw something come up with the rift. Maybe if I stop tracking. And then... Restart it. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, let's restart it. Oh, maybe that's what it was that popped up. Shoot. Alright, so I know... Although it could go all the way down here, guys. Like, we could be, um... There's the loss in the woods! You know what? Tom, you were correct. Or Tom... Tom... Uh, I forgot how to say your name. Tomek? Uh, yep, I think, I think you got it. You nailed it with the, uh, Lost in the Woods. Um, I'm actually tempted to just go ahead and try Lost in the Woods. And see if we can, uh, get that truck out of there. Did every, did anything else open up? Like, all these? Nope, Lost in the Woods there. There is this vehicle here now. Um, is that my vehicle? It is my vehicle. And it is right here. Yay, so look at that. We were correct. Or he was correct. We were correct. I liked how I liked to take some of it. Um, yeah, let's accept that. Let's actually start tracking that one. Why not? We need fuel, so yeah, we're, we're going to need to bring some trucks back over here. That's okay. Uh, at least we figured out what was going on and why nothing seemed to work in our favor, so. Um... You know what? I'm good. Let's just keep going. Uh, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and keep going with this one. And, uh, let's start tracking it. And I guess we're just gonna have to drive... I guess I have to switch trucks first. We're just gonna have to drive in a, a direction and see which one goes down first. Okay, 57 is this way, so... I got a feeling we're gonna be over here somewhere. Maybe... That's 53. I got a feeling that's probably a good spot. So, we're gonna... We're gonna drive. We're slowly running out of gas, too, so... We may have to, uh... We may have to figure this one out a little bit more, uh, put a little bit more thinking into it, right? But we've got a pretty capable truck here. I'm actually quite surprisingly happy with it. <laughs> it's always better than, than hating a truck, right? So, um, and like I said, because we had to put all the upgrades on it, I'm pretty sure I've never used it before, so. This is kind of a, a fun little bonus that we got. Alright, so I think we take a left here. Are we still going down? We are still going down. What's the other one? Even that one's going down, right? Everything's in this general direction, so... 33.6, that's going down a lot faster now. But I want to go... I want to go left back here. I don't. My guts tell me to go left. I got. I gotta go left. Hopefully, forty-five will start dropping. Yep, it's already at forty-four. Now we'll we'll have to probably go away. Yeah, thirty-eight's going up. So we're definitely we kind of have a rough idea of where both these scan locations are. We are now an equal distance away from both of them. I think this road, yeah, this road will curve back 
towards the 45 and the 39. We need it. We need to get this truck back to the repair shop. <laughs> it's it's in some pain. A uh, 29. It's not going down as fast as I thought it would be, heading in this direction. Hmm. 26. That's pretty good still. Okay, now it's going down pretty quick. So. see we are right at 15 I was going down faster when we went in that direction I'm gonna call it an audible and we're gonna go this way Sliding into the tree, we uh we might be in uh ish we we may have some issue with some fuel, <laughs> but I believe we have we have the R yar. We could use that to um at least drop off some fuel for us. Ooh, now we're point four. So now ooh. We're actually going up. All right, let's try to go left and see if it goes down. Okay, that was a bad audible I called, so my fault. I apologize. All right, so we are going down. Oh. Is it going down? Yeah, it's going down. Yes. Definitely going down. All right, we're so close. Okay, we're at least beeping. I have a dumb feeling that it's in here somewhere. Let's go for it. Let's see. Yeah, it's going down. There's no way I'm getting through there. That is way too thick to get through. All right. R uh, rudely got interrupted by a phone call there. So uh, where were we going? Oh, yeah, we can't go through there. Can we go through any of this? I don't think we can. I think we're going to get... Yeah, it's going to go... Ah, it's still going down. Still going down. That's that's a good sign. Looks like it's somewhere out here. Point three. Point three, point three, point three. Two. Point one, yes, okay, we're good. We're golden. Oh, wow, that shocking. Oh, point two. So we gotta go that way? Point one, like we're point one. How far away can we oh, there we go. Alright, well you run over this tree and that's apparently where they want it, so that gives you a quick idea of where we are. Zoom out! Zoom in. I thought this would zoom in, out, in and out faster. Anyways. Uh, boom. Since we're about to run out of fuel. 
All right, cool. Now we're long ways away from the other one. So we got to head back up. We don't have any fuel. Uh, I'm going to try to go this route. We're going to go that way. We're down to 15 gallons. That gives us about two seconds to, to drive. And like I said, push comes to shove, we can get the uh, the yar over here and uh, get that filled up. Or at least get some gas put in this. I'm gonna cut through here. Try to save some time. Yeah, this truck is actually surprisingly uh, capable as we nosedive head first into a mud puddle. Oh, we're already down to 11 gallons. Right now, I'm not even watching. We are going down, so that's a good sign. Alright, well we made it to at least to our point that I, I wanted to make it to before we ran out of gas, so that's a slight bonus. Alright, let's cut through here. If anything, we can go get the we can get fuel from the yard and then have the yar go and get uh, a fuel tanker. So we may have to do a little bit of uh, oh, we may have to do a little bit of uh, extra driving here, but at least we made it back. Let's uh, let's refuel. What do we got? Nine. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's change trucks. Let's go ahead and refuel. But we're gonna throw the roof rack in to the Tega. So now that's done. Where's the nearest trailer store? Over there. Scratch that. We're going to, uh, yeah, we're gonna need this fuel back. We're gonna take it all that. We're gonna take it all now. We're even gonna throw some in the fuel. Okay, let's go get a trailer. I'm pretty sure this takes the trailer. Yeah, 100% sure this takes the trailer. We're gonna go get a scout fuel trailer. Yay, let's knock over this fence. Yeah, there we go. Could have just drove into it, I know. I'm silly. All right. <clears throat> we may uh, we may have to cut this out due to time restraints. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave it in. Come on. I don't know why it just all of a sudden died there. Get out of the mud, get out of the mud. Let's go. I want to see on this truck if the stock tires are better too. There, there's so many stock tire better situations. And I don't know, I don't know how to exactly define better. Because uh, it may be better in the mud, but what about the dirt? What about the asphalt? Like, I feel like the mud is the ultimate. If I'm, you know, if there's a slight difference between, you know, one tire or the other on asphalt, does it really matter? Probably not. Mud, though, is the one that, uh, that's the one that slows you down the most, so. That's the one that I, I want to focus on. 
and hopefully I can take some of the uh, findings and translate that into uh, better setups for the rigs in this game. That would be the ultimate, uh, the ultimate goal. All right, so hey, look at that. I don't even have to get a fuel trailer. I have two sitting right here. In fact, you know what? I'm never, I, I'm doing a side mission right now. <laughs> I'm never gonna use a scout to haul uh, trailers. So yeah, we need to get rid of this. Although this would make for a uh, interesting, uh, I don't even know if you could do it, could you? Uh, but where you only use, you only have scout vehicles. That's all you can use for this game. I, I believe, I believe they call that expeditions though. <laughs> and we all know what kind of, uh, what a huge flop. I, I'll, I'll say it right now. It was a huge flop. Um, I don't think anyone actually enjoys expeditions over SnowRunner. If you do, let me know in the comments and, uh, let me know why. Uh, cause I can't figure it out. I, I found it very clumsy. The navigation, the, the menus, the scout, um, I guess what is it called? The, uh, the drone. I didn't, I didn't mind the drone. I just, okay, is it really necessary? Was it important? Uh, not really. Not in my eyes anyways. Uh, this is full, isn't it? Probably, probably dumb to ask now, but yes, it is full. So we don't quite have, we'll fill up the roof rack. Good enough, right? Let's, uh, let's go ahead over to the Tega and get that full of gas. And then we can figure out the, uh, this geo search triangulation. Come on, truck. Wow, this is uh this is really slowing down the uh the yar. <laughs> I guess that's uh probably doubling the weight. Slows it down quite a bit, so. That could be another test, actually. I love how so many tests I'm coming up with tonight. Hmm. How much does a trailer really slow you down? They, they could have put a little bit better of a suspension on this trailer, though. This thing's bouncing around like kids on a playhouse, a bounce castle thing. Yeah, that was a horrible, horrible, uh, Analogy. <laughs> I think I'm going the right direction. Am I? Uh, yeah, good enough. That's where that's where I need to head to. Look at this. This is this is surprising. I didn't I wasn't expecting it to slow this vehicle down so much. All right. We'll just we'll cut through right here. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're so close. Come on. You can do it. I mean, really, it can do it. It's just, it's like Thomas the Tank Engine here. Maybe we should paint it blue. <laughs> Alright, let's, um... Do we have to get out of this box to, uh... Oh, what am I doing? We can refuel this way. 
All right, let's uh, yeah, let's fill up the Tega. Maybe do we drag? Do we drag this setup behind us with the Tega? That might not be a bad idea. I do know we have to go somewhere over this way. I think it may be up. I wanted to say it was over here. Because this is where the other one that we had to do was. So I'm thinking it might be up this way. Which is horrible because we just came from that direction. But uh, let's get this hooked up. And uh, we'll at least get it. Oops. We'll at least get it out of the way. Actually, you know what? We could just. Well. <laughs> We can just go cut right through here. All right, let's pay attention to the numbers. Are they going down? Yes, they are. Okay, I'm going to go up this way. We might even be able to repair this truck. Depending on if we have to go buy that trailer store. And even then, that might be an issue trying to repair... Actually, no. What am I thinking? We can just drive through the uh, auto repair spot. <laughs> yeah, that, will, that would make a lot more sense. Now, I do realize that I could probably just bring the uh, service trailer. Because I can, I can definitely fill up from it without having to attach to it. But uh, I feel like we can just bring the whole, the whole uh, rig back there with us, just in case if we need it for something else. All right, so 42, it's still going down. 41, still going down. 40. Ooh, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, let's, uh... Try to fix that. There we go, 36. It's all, all good numbers. 35, please go down to 34. Thank you. Okay, so we're definitely heading off in the right direction. And yeah, I'm gonna do a quick, uh repair on this truck because it needs it. And then we can uh, continue on our search. And tell you the truth, I don't have a clue how long this episode is. I think I have maybe 15 minutes left to it. I think. But at the same time, I think I'm wrong as well, so... It's okay, we'll just we'll just do what it is. So now that our truck is fully repaired, uh, we can't go that way. So let's see if this will back up. Okay, yeah, good enough. I believe that should have repaired. Let's change trucks real quick. Yeah, the yard looks like it's repaired, so it should have gotten repaired. Uh, do 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 change trucks. It's way up there. Oh, I mean, I always forget about the winch. All right. And uh, yeah, let's take it right out of here. <laughs> oh, it's 30. Wasn't it 26 a second ago? 32. Okay, is it still going up? Thirty one. Okay, it's going back down. I think we got to head up towards the dam, maybe. 
Which way does this lead us? Oh, this is leading us towards Zimogorsk. Okay, well. I think sooner or later we're going to have to pick left or right. And I think it's going to be right, which is going to take us north. Let's turn on our headlights so we can see. 25. Is it still going down? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to follow the road. Twenty three. Yeah, we're going to have to go this way. We got a long ways to go still. Oh, we got a little bit of help from our buddy behind us. Another good reason to uh, bring somebody with you. You know what? Let's go into the cockpit for you. I don't think I... That's not too bad of a truck. I mean, that's a small, small cab back there. I personally, I would rather have had a bed you can lay down. I guess you could sleep there if you wanted to. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's watch the, uh, odometer and see if that goes up. Could you imagine if that went from 174,584 to 147,585? <laughs> that would be kind of cool. But I doubt it. I highly doubt that. Alright, let's uh... Let's just keep slowly moving. I love the terrain deformation. I can't wait for SnowRunner 2 to come out and I'm gonna guess two or three years. Uh, I, I think they're gonna have to keep doing updates like the the year passes for this game because of how bad expeditions uh, happened <laughs> like they need they need to keep this game going until they can develop a new snow runner and hopefully they go back to something more like this and yeah don't like why why did they want to reinvent the wheel like the tire deformation and the and the not tire deformation the tire pressures and there's so many good things from expeditions that i hope they they channel across but i hope they drop all of the menus the menus the setups all those were just absolutely horrible to try to get through so yeah i hope uh i hope they uh change that and get rid of those and go back to the snow runner slash mud runner style but i hope they do bring in like the fact that you sit there like if this was expeditions right now the vehicle would be slowly sinking because i'm literally in a mud puddle um i want to speed this up just a hair because this is taking forever okay i don't want to go too far Once we get to the wood, we should be good. Yeah, this up this might be a, an hour and a half long episode. I have no clue. All I know is that it is taking a pretty uh, pretty long time to get through here. Come on, there we go. I just need the front tires up on those wood. 
I just need the front tires up there. I really hope we're going in the right direction. We should be. I just hope we're, uh, we don't have to turn back. <laughs> that would be horrible. Absolutely horrible. Come on. Oh, we're almost there to the wood. Oh, we're on the wood. Yay. I know I sound so excited, don't I? <laughs> I really am, actually. I really am. Okay, so... Where does this go, actually? Oh! Oh! There's an upgrade! Upgrade! Let's go get it! Um, how am I gonna get through here? Please. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade! Okay, where is this? Oh, there's the upgrade! Yay! Been hiding in plain sight the whole time. Let's find out what it is. It is raised suspension for the Zeke's Zeke's 5368. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? I don't think we ever use that truck, but we might one day. Um, I'm gonna try not to bash into every stump. All right, and uh, yeah, we're uh, 0.1 mile away, so we're very, very close. So, we are going to get back at it. All right, so I just had to check, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm over my one hour time limit, so I'm gonna end this episode here, and we will continue uh, looking for the triangulation point uh, in the next episode. So we will uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, comment if you liked it. And uh, yeah, we will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye for now.